Right. Then let's move to our will close this one snapshot to RC8 clean snapshot. Go to the clean snapshot. Okay. Please go to the clean snapshot and restart the victim. And please use process monitor. Pokemon. Right? I'm not, uh, I'm not sure. Click here. Process monitor. And please go to samples. And there's an item. Right? And please execute this one. Okay? Then, then see whether or not you can answer these four questions. The four question on the slide 54. All right, so how about this? I will, because I actually, uh, the uh, people here actually, we actually uh, take more time to working on the lab till like a, a 45. So I gave them a little bit more time to take a break. So one hint I can give you is, let's say, So we are actually looking at a DLL search order, order hijacking. So when you start process monitor here, there's a filter option here, right? Since as you see, there's too many uh, events, uh, events are generated, right? So I will want to you know, make it filter here, but let's see here. Um, since I already uh, ran this uh, prop mod, so now I will start samples and I told. Okay. Then I will start the malware. And please go back to the uh, process monitor. And do you see the filter option here? So since we are looking at DLS search order hijacking, uh, the operation actually, the uh, field, one of the filter options that you are interested in is operation. Then here, write file at the end. You see that? So there is a on the on the filter, there is an operation. Then write file. Then add and press OK. So now from here you see the uh, file uh, operation that is only related to an uh, events that is related to this write file operation. Right? Then you can scroll here and then check what's going on basically, whether or not you see DLL search order hijacking is happening. And please make sure you give enough time so it actually generates something. So this is the actually the actual hint. Uh, let's go through all together. I'm at the page 54. Okay. So question number one is what is, what is the maneuvering method? I already gave you the answer. It is doing the DLL search order hijacking, right? And I asked you to actually uh, look, look at uh, events using the process monitor, right? So without filter, 
Um, I'm going to remove the filter. Okay. If you uh, have not applied any filter, it is actually hard to see you know, what's going on or what I'm supposed to look at, right? But uh, see, when you look around here, let's see. Um, when you look around, uh, let's say no. Uh, let's go file operations here. That even if you select only the uh, uh, events that related to the file system, still is a lot, right? So since I already gave you the hint, it is a DLL uh, search order hijacking. Then what you are uh, now looking at is, is whether or not DLL has been you know written to the file system or not, right? So and this is one of the popular filter option. So let's see. One thing um make it clear here this create file it is not actually create creating a file it is just when you open a file it's still in this function code actually being called so please do not pay attention to the create file rather than that if actually one file is created and written in the file system the operation you want to look at look at is operation And write file here, right? And do add, and then OK. Select OK, right? Now, now we see a lot of LPK that DLL, right? But is this just enough? We can claim that LPK that DLL is actually just use search order order hijacking. Just because it is written into the every you know a lot of directories, actually we cannot, right? Because in order to uh, DLL to be loaded into in the memory, application actually should use this you know DLL, and we don't know what is this in the LPK that DLL is, right? So again, this time then you can go ahead and look up. Let's say lpk dll. What is it, right? Let's see. Maybe this one wasn't enough. What is it? Right. Let's see. Hmm, maybe not. There we go. The third one is said lpk dll is a language pet file. Right, and another thing that is not essential, so it's asking something, right? Language pad is literally explained, it's not essential when you actually have the Windows by default, you have language pad, right? Actually, the, the VM that you have in this lab, I installed the like Eastern language pad, and when you see here, let's see, um, going back. Maybe it's not there anymore. I think it did, uh, did, uh, did, uh, did it itself, but it is actually the malware from China. And when you actually before execute the malware, you saw some Chinese character, right? So it is uh, for uh, all the other different countries, they most likely they have their own language installed by default. If I buy a you know, Chinese version of Windows, then Usually by default the language pack is being included. Okay, but for this case, I need to have to specifically say, okay, I'm I am going to uh, install the Eastern you know, language pack, right? That's why you have the APK that DLL. And every now the process, if I just learn uh, run this Internet Explorer, then it will load APK that DLL. Okay, all right. So I want to close it here, but let's see. Okay, I open this one and let's look around using using Process Explorer. Oh, okay. 
So six four. It is very slow because I am still running this one. Let's say file and this is the capture event. Then uh, the process monitor will stop uh, capturing events. All right, let's go back to the uh, process monitor uh, explorer. Okay, let's give it a little bit of time. How about this? I'm going to kill process monitor since we just saw that there's an LPKDI is being created a lot but since because the system is slow, I'll just kill uh, process monitor and hoping this process explorer will gonna run faster. It's not. It's not good. Let's wait a little bit. Because I want I uh, want uh, to show you that you know where this you know LPK that DLL is actually loaded into the Internet Explorer process. Okay, I will just kill it. Let's do it again. Send. <clears throat> Did I just open the pop one? Okay. Uh, All right, better. So when you see here, you can see the DLL information by selecting view, view low pane view in DLL. Right. Make sure your system is still uh, infected. <coughs> and let's select, no, not Pro Explorer, uh, Internet Explorer. One of the uh, I, uh, Internet Explorer that is just um, created here. And do you see IPK.DLL? Actually, you see one here. All right, how about this here? Because this one is not the one, the malicious one, actually, because it's from the system 32. But oh, there you go, right above here. So I can explain what's going on. Most likely is it did do, uh, it did hijack the DLL, you know. But what it, it what is doing is when you actually uh, hijacking the uh, DLL, that means the a valid one is not loaded into the memory, right? Then some functionality we want to break, right? And also the you know uh, attacker's uh, point of view. We do not want to implement every you know functionality of the LPK.DLL, right? So if what it does is it just basically it loads itself and have basically you know wrapper of the functions that what original LPK.DLL has, but you know it basically intercepting it. I will explain uh, this this concept in the following slide. So once you know this malicious DLL being you know mapped into memory. 
you still can you know hijack the function calls, but it, it is actually loading the original one into the memory, so this malicious one don't need to you know implement implement every single functionalities. Does that make sense? So now you see actually the uh, you know search order hijacking is happening here, right? Because it, it actually loads a uh, load malicious one, then just you know calling the uh, original one. Okay, actually, uh, I'm thinking I can verify that you know this LPK and this one is different by getting the MD5 of this you know DLL. Uh, let me think if we have time a lot, probably not. So, but how about this? If you are really interested, in, make you know have this you know use a NITO and I will show you how to get in the uh, MD5 of this in each DLLs. But I will do it later on, okay? Because we need to actually move forward. So I just you know, very, uh, wanted to show you know the LPK is not actually the uh, uh, the one that on the system 32 is actually the one that signed by the Microsoft as I mentioned uh, is the original one and the uh, LPK that DLL that is being injected by the uh, Nitro malware is actually uh, even doesn't have a signature because you cannot sign it right so. And I wanted to show this is actually malicious one and this is an original one, right? You can check the uh, path. And for that, I use the another uh, CC internal uh, suite tool, stickchat.exe, right? So I, uh, but just to show you, but you can later on uh, use this tool as well. And how about the MD5? The MD5 for this one is, right? Is it, I mean, even I don't need to say, you know, further, because any one bit difference, you will generate a different MD5 value. So here is completely different MD5, and for that actually LPK that DLL on the Internet Explorer was actually hidden, and but we we have another lab that you know how to then unhide basically uh, the for, uh, hidden uh, file. So please do not worry about that one for now. Okay, alright. So it's just extra information, but still it's good to know, right? 